Hi, my snowbirds. You are my clientele. Well, most of my clients. I know that a lot of you have thought about the need for an at-home home watch service because a lot of you are not here part of the year. Maybe you only come a couple times a year. So we are sitting down with the beautiful Cindy Jessup. She has a home watch company. Stay tuned for all things home watch. Hi, Cindy. This is Cindy, everybody. Hello. I'm so happy to see you. We've been friends a long time. We have. We're, yeah. we're May girls. Yo, I was just going to say, I was like, well, we get along because we share a birthday month of celebration for birthday. Anyway, she owns uh, the Welcome Home Concierge Home Watch Experts Company. Tell us everything about what you do. Okay. Um, I um, started the company in 2020. Good timing. Um, and I go to my customers' homes weekly or biweekly and do a complete home check. It's a visual check, but I also check their pool pumps. I check to make sure their sprinklers are programmed correctly. Okay. I bring my little handy dandy toolkit. Yes, the tool time girl. This is my helper. I do all my reporting, by the way, yes. on my phone. I have a software program that's time and date stamped. Okay. So I can take photos also, which is very important for insurance purposes. Yes. If your home's vacant for you know 30 days or however long, your insurance company tends to um, uh, jack that up accordingly. Yes. yes. You have to have someone checking on your home, or they won't cover any claims. If they're oh, weak. I learned something. Or, wow. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure there's definitely someone that's that's insured and bonded as I am, mm -hmm. and that um, can provide reporting that you need. So, awesome. So what then what's this thing? This is my tape measure. Oh, okay. People constantly, you know, most people that are they're moving like, here and they need <laughs> things measured out. Yeah. Then I bring a hygrometer with me. With one a what? Right here, a hygrometer. Say, Hold on one second. Let me grab it. A hygrometer? Mm -hmm. It measures the humidity levels in the home. Oh, okay. So, so we're in a home that you take care of in Lakewood Ranch, by the way, it's for her territory. So what does it say here? So it's 76 degrees in the home and it's 45% humidity, which is okay. perfect. We want the humidity to be between 45 and 55 no. okay. to prevent any humidity bloom. Because you know, that's Florida. 72 mm -hmm. hours is all it takes. She a hot one, especially here in July. That's right. <laughs> And then I always bring, you know, WD-40, because, you know, you always need the sliders, for the, slider. the doors, all that stuff. Cool. I always bring batteries for the smoke detectors or even for the pad that's at the garage that you can yes. put your code in. Mm -hmm. So you can get in. Okay. <laughs> um, and, of course, I have just random tools, like, if I need You to are the tool it. time girl. But I love it. <laughs> this little handy-dandy thing is the most important part of doing home watch. It's a bright white light, okay. and it will show any imperfections, even if the paint color is a different sheen. Okay. And that's very important for identifying issues with the home. Maybe a leak, or maybe leak or, um, um, anything in the roof or something, like critters or mm -hmm. whatever. Oh, that's smart. And, or condensation. Um, there's a vent um, in my customer's home that has a little discoloration, and so I got up there with a the ladder to make sure that there's okay. no leaks. And it was condensation, which was another uh, reason why we need yeah. to make sure our humidity levels are, are accurate. And so what if, what if the humidity levels are high? What do you normally advise them? We normally advise do? that you kick the air down a little bit. Some homes are different. It just depends on the amount of sunlight that comes in. Okay. You know, I have some customers in a, a downtown high rise where the sun is beaming Beating. and their air has to be set at about 74 mm -hmm. to make sure their humidity levels are good. Okay. And um, some people like to utilize uh, different types of humidistats. We hate We've them. seen many of those. You hate them? <laughs> yes. Do they work? I feel like some people say they work and some people don't. I don't know. They work if it's utilized correctly. A lot of people were told to put it at the wrong uh, temperature. I honestly don't know. I, I, I leave them alone and I don't have one, so I guess. Well, now that we have... <laughs> You know, technology, your thermostat should tell you the humidity levels as well. And when most people sure. can um, adjust that at their, you know, from their phone, mm -hmm. which is great. So, um, so the, the full um, home check is done and I take photos and I submit it to my customer. Make sure the pool people are showing up, the landscaping. Oh, people, we're going to get to the pool next. Control. Yep. Um, <laughs> and then the, um, the other things I do is uh, maintenance or vendor maintenance, I call it. If you have someone, for example, again, the pest control guy. He needs to spray inside the house. You get him inside or right whatever. On the key, okay. Consider like a key holder, and I let okay. them in. Same with awesome. furniture deliveries, or like if you, you know, Comcast or something, you got to be home for right. four hours. 
<laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then um, and then my concierge portion is uh, I have some people that would like their fridge stocked when they're on their way here. So oh. if they have a late flight, they would like to have coffee and everything in the morning. Oh, that's awesome! I'll pick it up and bring it to their home and stock the fridge for them with their pre. This is great. List. And, yeah, uh, it's all about helping keep everyone you know feeling safe, secure, peace mm -hmm. of mind. Right. And uh, everyone's so busy. So yeah, here to help. I mean, and even if it's in a gated community, I feel like, you know, for the safety thing, it's still nice to have neighbors see that there's someone coming in, I feel as an extra precaution. And, That's so true. And like you said, to catch things that like could totally be prevented. And um, so that's really cool. It's really all encompassing. So um, well, we're here to see an issue that you had mm -hmm. come up. It was uh, with regard to the pool, so we'll show you what went on with the pool outside next. Okay, it's really hot. I really do want to jump in here, but what's going on with the pool? I see the pool, the water level is low. So there is potentially a leak in this pool. I am here every single week, and unfortunately, this is how much the water has gone down since last week. Yeah. And we've been monitoring it. We have contacted a pool um, leak detection company that is coming out next Thursday. In the meantime, I'm trying to get it back up um, so that they can actually do their leak um, inspection. Okay. They said that it has to be completely full for them to determine where exactly it's leaking from. They go in with, oh. with goggles and dye and they determine where the leak's coming out. Oh, so I thought they needed it to be dry for that. I did too. So. That's a new, I guess it's the first time. I learned I two things today. <laughs> I know. So, oh. um, so I'm here every week and I'm, I'm going to do his home inspection and then, you know, fill this pool up and we're going to get the pool repaired. This is just one of the many things that happens, especially in Florida. Okay. It's always AC, pool, those kind of things because it's so hot and then the water evaporates and if you don't know the term, the pool pumps off, that could cause more problems for the customer. Yeah. So do you offer like different, um, programs for people or you don't you don't have to give any pricing but you have a website which we'll give everybody but you have like different sets of like programs that you offer people or how does that work mm -hmm. everyone is customized okay based on how often they want me to come out I can come out uh, every week or every two weeks every two weeks is really like the, the, the minimum. minimum because so much can go wrong in such a short period of time now that we're in storm season um, I'm sure if you live in Florida you've seen these crazy storms it will at times uh, turn your electricity off Yes. And sometimes those GFI breakers don't turn back on and maybe the AC doesn't kick back on or something doesn't kick off. That on, is like no good, that man. It's important <laughs> to, to have it working. Right, right. So, um, so that's the things we do. Um, I also offer concierge services. Say you're coming back to your seasonal home and you're getting home at 1130 at night. <laughs> You want to have coffee and all of the breakfast items in the morning. Maybe some alcohol. Shoot me, maybe <laughs> some wine. Yes. Shoot me a list of items and I go and pick them up and stock their fridge. And then also light the pilot light so when they take a shower, it's not freezing. Oh, that's so <laughs> Little nice. Little things that are needed. Open up the home and, and the comforts. The, home. the mm -hmm. comforts of home that you want ready instead of having to deal with. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. And then um, also if, uh, you know, say for example, I have a customer that just had her carpets replaced. Okay. I let the carpet people in and I went back to make sure it was done correctly before they left and locked her place back up. Or like you're saying furniture delivery furniture. or Comcast and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Um, and then geographically, where do you service? So I am a little here and there, <laughs> but um, mainly I am in Longbow Key okay. and I am in Lakewood Branch. So I have a day and a half in Lakewood Branch. I have a day and a half in Longbow and in between I am in um, the preserve area, the hammock preserve, sunrise preserve, all right. sand hill, all of those areas, which is uh, like south. Yeah, Minnesota. so you've got a little schedule going. I was going to say, I was thinking about your all your trips and everything, and I'm mm -hmm. thinking, nobody wants to be doing this, no. driving all around. So you're smart I and you work smart around the geography of the area because tra traffic is, you know, Sarasota's gotten busier. Yes, and it has. And Longboat to Lakewood Ranch is a little bit of a hike difference. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's smart. So um, tell everybody your website and the best way to reach you. Okay. My website is whcsarasota.com, which stands for Welcome Home Concierge. And I also can be reached at 941-915-1248. That is my phone number. And I always have my phone on me. That's why I wear pockets. Call, text, email, Call, website. Call, text, email. <laughs> um, my email is listed on my website as well. 
Thank you so much. Thank you.